Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at the brand new app from Alexander Zolotov of some Vox fame, of course. Um, and this is called Relic Flow. So this can generate up to 4 billion, 4 billion lo-fi rhythms and they'll all be unique. So what you do is you just press one of these. It's polyphonic, of course. And when you want to randomize all this stuff, you basically just hit this. But in this particular one, I like, I'm playing this with my MIDI keyboard now. It's polyphonic, by the way. It's not pitch, but it's, you know. So we'll go through how the app works in a moment, but. Okay, so it doesn't automatically sync to the tempo. Maybe this can be fixed in the future, but you just set your tempo to whatever your host is. It is an AUV3, so you can use lots of them. I'll just close this down. I have one track record in here and I froze the audio because basically I'm just holding like one note of MIDI, you know, and that would be annoying jumping place to place. But so I recorded this and it, uh, this is Relic Flow. And I'm going to overdub some of this. So, for example, I'm just going to jump in and play three notes on this on this next section here. So, what I'm going to do is arm my metronomes, get a count in and stuff. And yeah, I'll just join in. So, and then we'll go through the app and different things you can do. It's very nice. Now, you see now we've recorded this MIDI in. Once I start to play it back, we can turn the metronome off now. It's just added in those extra pads that I played. So like I said, I'm going to freeze this because it's holding MIDI. And of course, I don't want to lose what I've just recorded, but you don't have to. You can save this stuff. So, for example, let's just freeze this and it will render this pretty quickly, I would imagine. There we go. And I can get rid of this one now. So I'll just delete it. And we've got these two and we can jump in anywhere now because they're frozen audio. <laughs> So that all's frozen. Now, the other two of his apps are Fractal Bits, which you may know. And we can generate like billions of unique original kind of hit sounds. And then the other one he released not too long ago was Relics Ways, which generates kind of drones and effects and stuff that you can also add to your mix. So let's just go here and um, I'm going to add in another MIDI track underneath that. Go into um, my audio units here and scroll all the way down to the R's and find, uh, where are we? Relic Flow. So now this is how this works, right? So to, this is the one, it's loaded up the previous one that was there. If I wanted to save this entire set, 
I can go in here and just go save and it will save the whole the whole thing, right? If I just want to lock three of these up, I can hit lock and choose any of these three to lock. And it locks in octaves, so it's the same sound but octave above each other. So, for example, if we lock those, and I just go off lock a minute. So these are octaves above and below each other on the grid. But you'll see they're locked now. There's a little thing in the corner. So when I randomize now, all the ones that I locked will still be there. And if I had to save it as a preset, I could recall that preset. Okay, so if I randomize this again, it will still hold those locks. But it will randomize everything else very cool let's just go new and we can do different things like we did different interpolations so let's find this on my keyboard here Play chords. So I so say you could, you could, I mean, you can do whatever you like, basically. You can just set this thing off to record, just play a bunch of notes. and add to what you've already recorded. Go back. You don't have to freeze the MIDI, by the way, but it's just, you'll see that there's long chunks of it, so you can't kind of jump backwards and forwards because it won't pick the MIDI up. Okay. Stop now. So you can arrange your track like that if you like. Let's get rid of that. Oh, what we could do is if we keep this MIDI, right? Listen, what's listen? So let's just have this set to play in a loop. Let's mute those two. Okay, let's go to Relic Flow, and if we randomize, when it comes around again, some stuff another thing we could do is let's just get rid of this i don't need any of this stuff delete that track and delete this one and let's delete that midi but we go in erase so we have a flow a fractal bit and a relic wave so these are only 199 each they're really good i actually bought this yesterday because it's 199 now and i use these apps in AUM sessions and stuff. So let's just record this time. Just go with four, four bars. Let's just do this and just do something. Something random over, um, over those four bars. Let's just do that. So it is four bar. In fact, we could do it over two bars, you know, it doesn't really matter. Let's just set this off. And that should start playing. 
Okay, let's go to fractal bits now. Let's set the BPM here to match our BPM. Tricky. Probably easy to set my BPM at 1.9 now. Here we go. I wish it would sync, see? But now you see it's in time, so it's fine. Now we can go to fractal bits. something like that and just play it in and then we could add some other cool stuff in from relic ways and this kind of generates special effects and stuff or low f like lo-fi drones and things So, we start to build up really cool and interesting rhythms. Okay, let's add in another relic flow. So, because I haven't frozen the MIDI on this, I can just basically duplicate this. So duplicate, I don't need the MIDI. Uh, I'm going to take that away because I may want to play some different kind of MIDI or poly MIDI or whatever. So let's close this, go to this new relic flow, which will be basically copy this one. Let's randomize some stuff. Plus it also remembers the BPM because it was a copy. So. So what we need to do is jam along with it, you know. Pretty cool. So let's lock this one and randomize. Oh, this is better. This is a an octave up, so it's pitched up. Epic. Let's record that in, eh? Catch that on the next time round. And on and on you go. This is Relic Waves. Could just kind of add to that MIDI.
We can transpose up and down as well if we want to. They're all brilliant. Three brilliant apps. You could get the lot for six quid. I mean, I, I over the what a couple of years they've been out. I bought the first one, the second one for one ninety nine. It's a no brainer, you know. And they're all extremely good at what they do. I'm just going to duplicate because I quite like this. I'm just going to duplicate this one uh, one more time. I'll just erase that MIDI. Although you know, like I said, what you can do is literally just. Go in, and if you, right, if you wanted to, and you really like this, you go in and you and you can save it, right? I save it as I don't know, whatever you like. You give it a name here, and it brings up the thing. You know, I'm not going to bother doing that, but you can save your stuff. <clears throat> and then what you can do is very cool. You can go in and, and just change up the MIDI. You're going to come up with some really cool stuff. Guys, there you go. Relic Flow. Brilliant. Another really good act to add to Relic Waves and Fractal Bits. For just some kind of random madness. Although you don't... That's a good sound. You could just use pick up kind of ordinary rhythmic stuff. So don't forget these are these will just keep looping. Don't forget to set your BPM as well to whatever your host tempo is. Anyway, top job. Cool beans. I put a link in, obviously, for Relic Flow. Awesome. Four billion unique lo-fi rhythms. Four billion. Well, you couldn't get to them, could you? I'll see you guys later. Ta-da.